Welcome to Turkey, the actual most powerful country in the world. From the magnificent Byzantine Empire to the opulent Ottoman era, the country has been shaping history for centuries. Recently, Turkey has taken on a crucial role as a mediator, using its diplomatic prowess to foster peace. But don't you dare try whistling indoors while in Turkey or chew gum at night if you want to stay in the good books of the Turks. Well, stick to the end to know more on these facts. Join us as we explore the 74 facts which make Turkey the absolute gem that it is. 1. Turkey is a large peninsula that bridges the continents of Europe and Asia. Turkey is surrounded on three sides by the Black Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Aegean Sea. 2. At 1,175 kilometers long, the Turkish coastline is among the top 20 longest coastlines on the planet. This coast, which stretches along the Black Sea, is as diverse as any other part of the country. In the east, you have romantic cities such as Trabzon and medieval attractions. In the west, you'll find the most scenic areas of Turkey's coast, such as Izmir and Ovacik Mahalesi. 3. Istanbul in Turkey was the capital of the Byzantine Empire while it lasted from 395 AD until 1453 AD. At its height, the Byzantine Empire controlled the entire eastern Mediterranean region, including Turkey, Egypt, Greece, and Syria. 4. Of Turkey's landmass, 95% lies in Asia while 5% lies in Europe. Due to its location, Istanbul is divided into two continents. Therefore, this makes Istanbul the only city on Earth built on two continents. 5. Turks must make sure to eat all the food that is on their plates and scrape the bottom of the plate. Leaving a portion on the plate is considered a sin. This is based on a religious law regarding avoidance of waste. 6. The Cappadocia region of Turkey is famous today for hot air ballooning, but centuries ago, it was a welcome refuge for Christians escaping the Roman Empire. They hid in underground cities and caves, which you can visit if you're ever in the area. 7. Turkey has a large and well-equipped military. The Turkish Armed Forces, TAF, are the second largest in NATO, after the United States military. The TAF have played a key role in conflicts in Syria and Iraq, and they are also a major force against potential threats from Russia or Iran. 8. Turkey has had equality for women going back a millennium to the Hittite civilization, and it gave women the right to vote before most European countries and the United States, 1930 for local elections, 1934 for national elections. 9. There have been many theories as to where agriculture started, but today's consensus among historians is that it started about 11,000 years ago in ancient Turkey. This theory is based on evidence found that indicates ancient people in those times were planting crops, such as wheat, in the south-central region of the country. 10. Istanbul in Turkey is a major and strategically located city with easy access to points in both Asia and Europe. All of these factors make it a very important hub in the aviation world. All major airlines worldwide fly from the city, and Turkish Airlines alone flies to more than 260 cities around the world, with 1,351 flights every day. 11. Turkey houses two of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Temple of Artemis in Ephesus is a remnant of ancient Greek civilization dedicated to the ancient goddess Artemis. Another historical site is the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, built between 353 and 350 BC. 12. Pamukkale, meaning Cotton Castle in Turkish, is a natural UNESCO World Heritage Site in Turkey's Denzili province, famous for its terraces of carbonate minerals formed by flowing hot springs. These springs have been used as a spa since the 2nd century BC, when the Romans built the city of Hierapolis nearby. 13. For over 500 years, Istanbul was also the capital of the Ottoman Empire, one of the mightiest and longest-lasting dynasties in world history. This Islamic-run superpower ruled large areas of the Middle East, Eastern Europe, and North Africa for more than 600 years. The chief leader, known as the Sultan, was given absolute religious and political authority over his people. 14. Turkey offers an unusual yet mouth-watering traditional dessert. Tavuk goksu is a combination of shredded chicken, milk, and sugar, dusted with cinnamon. This dessert was traditionally prepared for the Ottoman sultans in Topkapi Palace. 15. It's no secret that Turks love their sweets, but just how much is likely more than you thought. Turkish tradition believes that life starts with something sweet and ends with something sweet. This is why mothers receive sweets to welcome their little one into the world. Sweets are also served at funerals to celebrate the life of the person being mourned. Ermik Helvasi, a dish made with semolina, is carried to the graveside and offered to the mourners. It is also popular on happier occasions. 16. 
Only several hundred years ago, a woman could request a divorce and be granted one if her husband failed to adequately supply her with good, quality coffee. In those days, something as simple as coffee and something we take for granted today because it's so widely available was considered both essential and a luxury. 17. The world's first temple is in Turkey. The stones found at Gobleki Tepe are the remains of the world's first temple and is one of the most significant archaeological sites ever discovered. Carbon dating reveals that around 45 stones trace as far back as 13,000 years. 18. Julius Caesar pronounced his famous words, Veni Vidi Vici, I came, I saw, I conquered, in Turkey when he defeated Pontus, a kingdom of the Black Sea region of Turkey. 19. If you thought that England had the most tea lovers in the world, guess again. Turkey consumes more tea than any other country on the entire planet. Some say it's 5 to 10 cups a day on average, while others say it's 3 to 4 cups, but either way, that's a lot of tea. Over 90% of Turks claim to drink tea every day. 20. Istanbul is the former capital of Turkey. After they took it from the Romans, the Ottomans made Constantinople the capital of the country. However, Ankara became the capital after the Ottoman Empire fell. The government preferred Ankara as the new capital and changed its name to Istanbul following the Turkish War of Independence in 1923. 21. While it was first used in Asia, turquoise made its way to Europe via Turkey and the gemstone was widely used there for many things, including amulets. It is this Turkish influence that gives the gem the name we know it as today. 22. It may seem strange to you, but this odd way of bidding farewell to someone is quite common in Turkey. It involves throwing a bucket of water as the person leaves. And no, it's not a way of washing the memory of the person away, but quite the opposite. It is to wish the departing person a happy return someday soon. 23. The red in Turkey's flag has a long history. Red was chosen for the imperial standard color of the Ottomans. This Turkish empire controlled most of Southeast Europe, Western Asia, and North Africa from the 14th to 20th century. Red also represented the domain of the Ottomans after the fall of Rome. 24. Turkey's highest point is a dormant volcano. The peak of Mount Ararat is Turkey's highest point at 5,137 meters above sea level. The mountain lies east as a dormant compound volcano. 25. Turkey is the site of the world's first beauty pageant, with Paris of Troy as judge and Athena, Hera, and Aphrodite as contestants. Paris chose Aphrodite, who promised him the most beautiful woman in the world, Helen, who was already married, which led to the Trojan War. 26. Turkish is a fascinating and melodic language that is thought to be the most happy language in the world. So, why not learn a few basic Turkish phrases and expressions? While in Turkey, you can say salam to say hi, admiz nadir when you wish to ask someone their name, and hoskal deniz to say welcome. 27. About 49.7% of the Turkish territory is dedicated to agriculture. They don't need to rely on importing food from other countries. In fact, there's an abundance of figs, tomatoes, and aubergines. 28. Interestingly, many believe that Mount Ararat is where the biblical Noah's Ark landed. Due to this, many view the mountain peak as sacred. Mount Ararat is also home to many species of mammals, including brown bear, lynx, wolf, fox, wild goat, wild sheep, and wild boar. The last meal on Noah's Ark, a sweet and sour pudding called Ashur, in Turkish Asure, is served as a dessert throughout Turkey. It supposedly contained 40 different ingredients. 29. Johann Jacob von Parrott was the first man recorded to reach Mount Ararat's peak in 1829. From there, many individuals got inspired to recreate the feat, while others climbed the mountain to seek the remains of Noah's Ark. Several climbers claimed that they found some pieces of the Ark, but these claims remain unverified. 30. St. Nicholas, the historical figure behind the man we know as Santa Claus, was born in Patara, Turkey in around 300 AD. A holy man, people believe he performed many miracles in his lifetime, including saving sailors from sinking ships. Not only did tales of his generosity become the basis for Santa Claus, but St. Nicholas also became one of the patron saints of sailors. The name Santa Claus comes from the Dutch Sinterklaas, a shortened version of St. Nicholas. 31. Being one of the best national parks in Turkey, the Aldaglar National Park is arguably the most famous national park in Turkey. Located 30 kilometers from Yahlali, this is a part of South Turkey and sprawls over 55,000 hectares. Aldaglar locally means Crimson Mountain and refers to the reddish tinge of Taurus Mountains at the backdrop, featuring red pine, black pine, and fir. 32. 
As if learning Turkish, the country's official language, isn't hard enough, if you want to be the best possible communicator when visiting Turkey, you'll need to learn how to speak many other languages. The vast majority of people speak Turkish, but other languages you will hear in Turkey are Kurdish, Arabic, Zaza, Laz, Armenian, and Greek. 33. Travelers can cross continents underground in Turkey. The Mamrore Intercontinental Commuter Rail Line in Istanbul, Turkey runs 76.6 kilometers long. It includes a rail tunnel beneath the Bosphorus Strait and the suburban railway lines along the Sea of Marmara from Halikali on the European side to Gebze on the Asian side. 34. Football is Turkey's most popular sport. Aside from soccer, Turks are also into sports such as basketball, track and field, handball, and wrestling. 35. More than 10 Turkish basketball players made it in the NBA. Among the famous NBA players from Turkey are Hedu Turkoglu, Omar Asik, Ersan Ilyasova, and as Cantor, Mehmet Okur, Furkan Aldemir, Seme Irden, Furkan Korkmaz, Ibrahim Kutlue, Shane Larkin, Sidi Osman, and Mirsad Turkam. 36. Muva Fika Yetsiz Stricken Lex Terivimie Yipyesh Karlek Mizdens Medin is the longest word in Turkish. It roughly translates to, as though you are from those whom we may not be able to easily make into a maker of unsuccessful ones, and has 70 letters. It's not in common usage, though. The word was especially derived for a story. 37. Also known as grease wrestling, oil wrestling is the country's national sport. As its name suggests, two contenders will wrestle each other while doused in olive oil. However, unlike traditional wrestling, oil wrestling competitions can be won by delivering an effective hold to a pair of loose-fitting leather trousers worn by the wrestlers. 38. Contrary to what you may think, Turkey wasn't named after the bird. Instead, the Ottoman Empire renamed Constantinople as Turkey as a historical reference. Similar to how they conquered Constantinople, the Turkic people of Central Asia took control of Anatolia and called themselves Turks. From there, the Ottoman Empire derived the name Turkey. 39. Leonardo da Vinci proposed a plan to construct a bridge in Turkey. He proposed a plan to construct a bridge across the Bosphorus Straits in 1503. However, the construction only took place 498 years later. The bridge was named the Galata Bridge in 2001. 40. Sarma, which literally means wrapped in Turkish, is a dish found frequently in Turkish cuisine and in the native foods of regions that were historically part of the Ottoman Empire. It consists primarily of cabbage or grape leaves, wrapped around a filling, and boiled for hours before serving. This filling is typically made using a mixture of rice, red pepper, and tomato paste, and seasonings for flavor. 41. When most people think of sea turtle nesting areas, they think of the Caribbean, Central America, or South America. However, Turkey also has a sea turtle nesting area at Iztuzu Beach, just outside of Fatiye, for endangered loggerhead turtles. Each year, more than 300 nests appear between May and October. The area is an excellent mix of conservation and tourist attraction, meaning you can observe the turtles without disrupting them. 42. Putting a tortoise under a baby's pillow at night is an old superstition in Turkey. Although the majority doesn't practice it anymore, some Turks believe that putting a tortoise under a baby's pillow at night will protect the infant. 43. If you love to shop for local items and buy souvenirs when you're traveling, you'll be interested to know that the Grand Bazaar in Istanbul, with the official name of Kapali Karsi in Turkish, dates back as far as 1455, making it the oldest covered market in the world. It has grown throughout the centuries into a 61-street labyrinthine that takes up 333,000 square feet and has over 3,000 shops. Whether you're shopping for Turkish rugs, beautiful lamps, tea, or Turkish delight, you can find some incredible local products here. Allow yourself some time to get lost in this beautiful labyrinth and have fun shopping. 44. Turkish Delight or Lokum is one of the oldest sweets in world history, dating back 500 years. Napoleon and Winston Churchill were particularly fond of the ones with pistachio filling, and it is said that Picasso used to consume it daily while painting. 45. 99% of Turkish people are Muslims, which is why the number of mosques in this country is 82,693. Some of the famous mosques in Turkey which you can visit are the Blue Mosque, Suleymaniye Mosque, Selimani Mosque, and Rustam Pasa Mosque. While nearly all of the Turkish population is Muslim, Turkey is not officially a Muslim country. Turkey has officially been a secular nation since 1927. 46. The first ever Christian church was located in Antioch, Turkey. 
The Grotto of St. Peter outside Antioch, now known as Antakya, is believed to have been created by Jesus' disciple Simon Peter. This makes it the oldest place of Christian worship in the world. You can still visit the church and see the traces of ancient decoration today. 47. Paul the Apostle, popularly known as St. Paul, was born in Tarsus in southern Turkey. Many people believe Aesop, the famed Greek storyteller, grew up in Thrace along the Black Sea, now Nisibar. The Greek historian Herodotus was born in what is now Bodrum, a city on the coast. 48. Some words from the Turkish language have made it into the English language. Examples include kayak, kebab, kiosk, pilaf, and yogurt. 49. It's officially illegal to wear a fez in Turkey. The name of the iconic red felt hat with its black tassel comes from fez in Morocco. That's where the red dye to color the hat originated. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk banned the fez in the 1920s as it was seen to symbolize the Ottoman Empire. Though the law was never overturned, you're unlikely to be arrested for wearing one. 50. Rome is not the only place built on hills, as Istanbul has also been built on seven hills. The reason for this was that the Byzantine Empire wanted to declare Istanbul as the new Rome at the time. Of course, all of these hills are historical, and you will find incredible places and mosques within them. 51. Mount Nemrut is among the most interesting historical places in Turkey. The statue heads of Mount Nemrut are reflections of gods of ancient Greeks and Persian religions. If we interpret it with Greek mythology to make it more familiar, the statues represent Zeus, Apollo, and Hercules. On the other hand, these figures also symbolize equivalent gods in Persian religion as well. In addition to them, there are two lion and two eagle statues too. 52. You will notice that every meal in the country comes with ekmek, fresh bread. Haidari, Pathkan and Zemzi, and Deniz Borleski are some of the delicious Turkish dips you can try with your ekmek. 53. Turkey has many allures, but it is no secret that the hundreds of beaches that cover its 7,000-kilometer coastline are some of the most popular things to do. Some of the most famous beaches in Turkey are the Kabak Beach, Mermerli Beach, Blue Lagoon, and Ikmeler Beach. 55. Turkey has been home to the hazelnut for over 2,000 years. This country has more than 70% of the world's hazelnut production at 420,000 tons per year. This means we all had some Turkish hazelnuts at some point. If you are still not sure, let me tell you that the Ferraro Group, which makes the world-famous Nutella, is Turkey's biggest hazelnuts buyer. 56. Number 40 is a good number in some religions, and for Turkish people, this is a lucky number. They say that if you repeat anything 40 times, it will come true. The origin of this belief comes from the fact that the Prophet Muhammad was 40 when he received the Quran, and Jesus wandered the desert for 40 days. 57. Turkish people treat the elderly with a lot of respect. When they enter the room, the oldest always goes first. On some occasions, you might see younger people kiss the right hand of elderly people and raise their hand to their forehead. 58. The Turkish language is full of funny phrases. One such amusing phrase is kafaye usutu, literally means a person has caught a cold in their head. This has nothing to do with catching a chill, nor with any other illness. If you've caught a cold in your head, it means you've gone crazy. Another one is segermin kazeski, which literally means the corner of my liver. This anatomic description is actually used to describe someone who is very precious to you. You might hear it featured as a lyric in love songs. 59. There are 13 spots in Turkey inscribed on UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites and a whopping 62 on the tentative list. They range from a Mesolithic temple, Gobekli Tepe, to a biblical city, Ephesus, to a World War I battlefield, Gallipoli, and help make Turkey the sixth most visited tourist destination in the world. 60. Turkey is home to spectacular mountain ranges, and wintertime visitors can hit the slopes at nearly a dozen resorts. Palandokan, in the eastern province of Erzurum, is a beautiful mountain to trek at 10,200 feet or 3,125 meters. 61. When director Nuri Bilj Silan's winter sleep won the Palm d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival in 2014, it gave a strong revival to Turkish cinema, whose productions rose fivefold to about 100 films per year. Turkey is one of the few countries where domestic films rake in more at the box office than Hollywood's offerings, and its movies and television series are a major soft power export in the Middle East. 62. A new type of plant is discovered every 10 days. It may be one of the most surprising facts about Turkey. Its 10,000 plant and 80,000 animal species help rank the country among the world's 35 biodiversity hotspots. 
Some of the popular plant species found in Turkey are tulips, oleander, sweet gum, while some famous animal species found here are striped act, hyena, and European fallow deer. 63. Half of the country's population is under 30. It's a young population on average, where 23.4% is under the age of 14, and more than half of the total population is under 30. Only 8.5% of the population is older than 65. 64. Internationally, the donor kebab is probably the most famous, but in Turkey, they have several kinds of kebab. It was here they invented kebab, and the Turks are still the best ones to make it. Some other famous kebabs include sis kebab and iskender kebab. 65. The evil eye amulet is the most bought Turkish souvenir. In Turkish, it's known as Nazar Bankugu, and it's meant to protect against the evil eye and other harmful spirits. This symbol is also found in many other countries where the Ottoman Empire was present. The tradition of making this type of glass art with the evil eye Nazar is said to go back at least 3,000 years. 66. Turkish people eat more than three times their own body weight in bread annually. 67. Most Turks did not have surnames until a law was passed requiring it in 1934. 68. There are no native camels in Turkey, but there's an annual camel wrestling festival. Every year, the Selkuk F's Camel Wrestling Festival, established by the Turkic tribes more than 2,000 years ago, takes place in Turkey's southern Aegean coast. The fighting camels, adorned with decorative rugs, bells, and saddles, often comes from Iran and Afghanistan. 69. Imam Bayildi is a Turkish dish made from eggplant cooked with olive oil and filled with onions, garlic, and tomatoes and served at room temperature. It translates as the Imam swooned, suggesting that the dish was so delicious that the Imam, or prayer leader of the mosque, fainted at the sight and taste of it. 70. The Turkish Riviera is a very popular area thanks to a combination of favorable climate, warm sea, and mountainous scenery, makes some of the best beaches are Icemiller Beach, Kabak Beach, Mermerli Beach, and Butterfly Valley. 71. In some European countries, people take off their shoes while entering the house. They put the shoes in closets or beside the door. But in Turkey, taking off shoes before entering the house is customary. This custom makes the entrance of the house look like a retail shoe shop. One of the best parts is that nobody even tries to steal shoes from outside the house. Turkish people are of the view that why occupy the space in the apartments and houses with the dirt of the streets by taking shoes in? 72. Turkey is a regional power in the Middle East and North Africa. It has a large and growing economy, and it is a major player in regional politics. Turkey's influence extends to countries as far away as Central Asia and the Balkans. 73. If you're charming, you'll most likely be called Saitan Tuyu, which means literally the devil's feather. This phrase is used to describe someone who is so charming that he can become close with everyone. 74. Turkey's strategic location gives it a key role in regional and global politics. Turkey borders Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. This gives it access to markets and resources in all three regions. Thanks for watching. Which country would you like to see in the next video? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe.